Hey guys, uh, just going to do a quick talk today on a couple of the older things that we used to use. Had a bit of a clean up and um, you guys know what this is. Is remember, that's what we used to put the, um, the six batteries in, the sub-C's. Get your clip, you used to put the battery bars, make them all up. This was before LiPos. So, you know, it's been around for a long time. This thing, me and Mick used to use, putting all the batteries together. Every major meeting used to go, put your batteries together and not anymore. Now you got your LiPos, you don't even have to worry about that. You know, you don't build your own. But me and Mick used to match and um, do all our own batteries at one stage. So, yeah, I found that. I thought I'd just show you a uh, couple of the older motors we've got. You know, you guys remember this guy, the Hara V2. The brushes went in on the angle. Uh, just some old motors we found going through the cupboard. Mick used to run the um, DC ones this one's like the ti version the yeah, ti it is a ti yep yeah. um we still got the, the brushes on the springs on the bottom all good you know you could put these in your car and run them but the best the best ones me and mick found for running for mod were these guys the reedy krs they were really good had a lot of success with these motors had a lot of guys that put them in and say they were junk. And I remember one meeting at Rudy Hill, I went out one night and a guy bought a brand new one of these, put in his car, did one run, melted all the brushes, melted the springs and said they're heaps of rubbish. And I was running the Team Losi Triple XS that night. And um, I said to him, no, they're really good. Yeah, that's what we run. And he goes, nah, junk. He said, you want it? You can have it. And he gave it to me. I said, you sure? And he goes, yeah, yeah, take it. He said, oh, buy him. he ended up, he said, buy me a Kit Kat and a can of Coke later. So that's what I did. I built it up, put it in the car, ran at that meeting and ended up beating him that night. So, you know, this guy used to put the motors in the top. Got one of the motors. It was a good part of the racing back then, you know. I enjoyed, we um, used to change your brushes in the ends. You pull out your brush. You know, I used to file grooves in the end of them. There's a team brood stocky. It's got the chipboard on the end. And used to shim them, used to cut the comms. You know, do a lot of things. Polish up the arms where it goes through the bushings because they never run bearings. And it was a big part of them, you know. Used to put it in here. This was mainly for your um, degrees, for setting up the timing. But what you used to do, put the new brushes in to bed them in. You had a fan on the bottom. You run it off your turbo or something just to bed the brushes in. Pull it back out and you leave your comb back up. But now... Like I said, we've gone to the for the first. This was the old Noe, the Novaks. They used to have the purple rings on them like that. And then we took them off. They said, "Ah, oh, it's better for cooling." You pull your ring off, and then they ended up making these guys big heat sinks to put on them. Uh, just a couple of the old motors, an old Speed Passion. Uh, but. This was interesting. The old Schultz. I don't know if you remember these. They were virtually one of the first brushless out. We got a six hacker. They just plug in. It's a, a non-censored one. So you just put it in. If your car, if you spun out and it rolled backwards, it'd actually take a couple seconds to restart and then you could drive away. So the brakes were terrible on them. But geez, they were quick. So, but yeah, like that's one part of the um, cars I do miss. The noise, 
There's one big thing we I think we all miss the noise. They sounded really good. You're probably not as fast as a brushless, but um, you don't have to really do much to the brushless motors. You get them out of the boxes. You can shim them, but a lot of them say don't. Just leave them alone. You know, you just get them, put them in your car, and you're away. And they're pretty good anyway. So. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you some of the old bits we had. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know, probably, you know, too good to throw out. But, you know, what, what do you do if it's only junk at the end of the road? I don't know what, what to do with them. So send me some ideas, guys, what to do with it. I don't know if anyone needs a brushed motor. But I've got a few laying around. So let us know. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.